Six signs of an unhealthy relationship that is considered normal. We bring a list of the six most dangerous habits that we treat with indulgence. When it comes to relationships, we often find ourselves unprepared for them. A lot of the problem is that we're okay with certain habits that corrode mutual affection. 1. The game, who screwed up the most? What is it? Partners remember each other's past mistakes and keep a virtual score. If the couple cannot move to the next stage, then the relationship turns into an endless game of who screwed up the most. Relationships like this can be a real pain in the ass. Why is that bad? Scoring and constantly remembering the mistakes of the past leads to dissatisfaction and attempts to make the partner more guilty instead of solving the problem that has arisen. What to do? Stop remembering your partner's past mistakes. Forget about scoring. It doesn't matter if your partner failed three years ago. Each person is the sum of past deeds, so accept him as he is. 2. Hints and passive aggression. What is it? Instead of openly talking about their desires and problems, the partner, as it were, pushes you to the desired decision and secretly takes revenge on you. Why is that bad? This shows that you are closed when communicating with a partner. There is no excuse for passive-aggressive behavior that creates insecurity and a false sense of security. What to do? Be open about your concerns and desires, and you will understand that your partner will support you. 3. Emotional blackmail. What is it? One of the partners, complaining about the behavior of the other, threatens to break off the relationship. Instead of saying, I don't think you care about me, they say, I can't date someone who doesn't have feelings for me. Why is that bad? This emotional blackmail creates a ton of unnecessary problems. Every little quarrel swells up to the size of an elephant. It is important for partners to feel that they can express their dissatisfaction without damaging the relationship as such. Otherwise, people suppress their feelings, which leads to distrust and manipulation. What to do? Worrying about relationship problems is great. This means that you are a normal person. But it is important to understand that attachment to a person in love are two different things. Partners who can discuss problems calmly without blackmail or reproaches strengthen relationships. 4. Blaming your partner for your own experiences. What is it? Let's say you had a lousy day. The only thing you want is to return home as soon as possible. At such moments, it is important not to take out your bad mood on your partner. It's not his fault that things are so bad. Why is that bad? Blaming your partner for your own negative emotions is a subtle form of selfishness and a classic example of the inability to separate the personal from the general. When you blame your partner for your own bad feelings, you create a precedent. Now you and your partner will have associations between a bad mood and the actions of the second half, although they are not connected in any way. The life of one of the partners begins to revolve around the mood of the other. What to do with it? Take responsibility for your emotions. Remember, when people feel guilty, it gives them an incentive to hide their feelings and manipulate each other. 5. Unhealthy Jealousy What is it? You are annoyed that your partner communicates a lot with another person. You become suspicious and try to control your partner's social circle. Check his phone, mail, social networks. Why is that bad? Some believe that the absence of jealousy is a sign of indifference. But in fact, being jealous creates a huge problem. He humiliates a partner, destroys trusting relationships. What to do? Trust your partner. Trite. But there is no other way. It's natural to be a little jealous. But don't overdo it. Don't humiliate your partner. You have to deal with bouts of jealousy. 6. Shopping and gifts as a solution to problems. What is it? After a major quarrel, many couples do not understand the problems but try to forget about them with the help of shopping or expensive gifts. Why is that bad? This not only pushes the problems in the relationship into the background, but also introduces commercialism. What will happen if a guy takes a girl to a restaurant after every wrongdoing? This will give her an incentive to constantly make her partner feel guilty. The result is an irresponsible relationship, a constantly offended girl and a guy who feels like an ATM. What to do? Resolve relationship issues. Has trust been broken? Talk about it. Does anyone feel underappreciated? 
listen to your partner, take action, make contact. Gifts cannot restore trust and a healthy atmosphere. Give gifts not because everything is bad, but because everything is good. Do not hide your problems with them. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Remain better.